Hey guys, welcome back to episode 41 of the Sims 4 100 Baby Challenge. Now, I had to start on this frame because just look how cute the baby looks. Oh my god, I actually can't deal. <laughs> I had six screenshots of them. They are so freaking cute. Even though we unmasked their dad last episode and he was interesting to say the least, but either way, they're still our kids. Hopefully they'll look more like Alyssa. Anyway, let's just get in straight into the game. So yeah, the babies are asleep in bed. Uh, I think pretty much everyone's asleep except, what's your name? Kale. Yale. Yale. Oh, Yale is up playing video games. Okay, sure. So in the last episode, we, I don't really know what happened. Did we have these babies in the last episode? Y yeah, I think, I think, I think we did. I don't know. Either way, we are going to be working on their milestones today and trying to age them up. Um, it is Sunday, 8.30 in the morning. So the kids have school tomorrow. I think they're all set for school. Okay, he just needs to do his homework today, which is fine. And so does he. So yeah, they're all good. They'll be getting their grades up, hopefully. And then we might be able to age them up. I'm not sure how much we'll play today. But yeah, I don't really have any plans. Oh my god, look at Yale doing the washing. What a good kid. Can you clean up this as well? <gasps> He's gonna go kiss um Aria goodnight. Oh, that's so cute. You better not wake her up. <gasps> Stop it. That's adorable. Um, yeah, you know, I was saying I don't really have any plans for today's episode. I'm just kind of we're just gonna wing it, I guess. I don't know. Are we currently pregnant? Yes, we are. Who did we have a baby with? Who are we pregnant with? Is it this guy? Jake, maybe? It might be him. I don't know. I guess we'll find out when the baby's born. Um, and we check the family tree. But yeah. So, also, I went back in the footage and I checked when we planted our tree. And we planted it on a Saturday in the morning. And it takes seven in-game days for this thing to grow. So I am just gonna set it to be grown because I'm sick of waiting for it to be grown. We're going to do mature. So it's actually a tree. I might have to move it actually. That doesn't look very great. Um, so we'll move it. But yeah, it's been a baby tree for way too long. It's just, <laughs> honestly, I think it was glitched. So I'm just going to cheat it. Sorry if you hate that, but it needs to be done. Okay, there we go. I put it over here as well, just because I feel like it's makes more sense to be over here. Um, but yeah, hopefully that'll start getting us some gems now so we can actually work on making crystals and whatever. I also learned recently that these have like a radius, so they work. Um, not just in the room they're in, so that's good, good to, to know. Um, they are drained though, so we'll go put them on the crystal tree. There we go. Um, but yeah. Yale, since you're up, okay, he's just eating some taco rice, sure. And he's looking at the birth certificates. Okay, sure. Did I put up the twins' birth certificates? Speaking of those, didn't. There we go. Now we've got our twins' certificates up there. All right, anyway, what I was going to say is I want to get Yale to do his homework um, while he's up. But maybe he can use the toilet and shower first. And we'll throw this away. Yeah, so we can get that done and just out of the way. He can do some extra credit as well, hopefully, to help him. Um, This kid, Zach, is still asleep. So he could just stay asleep. It's fine. Everyone's having a bit of a sleep in today, except Yale, who's doing the housework. Um, I do also want to work on uh, Alyssa's serial romantic aspiration. I just put down a mirror here because I realize we don't really have any mirrors anywhere. So I put a mirror in her room so we can work on our Christmas girl. Um, we also need to kiss 10 Sims, so maybe we'll just like invite everyone over and kiss them. <laughs> I don't know. Um, and then the next level is something like having boyfriends and girlfriends. So we'll just do the same thing. We'll be uh, invite them over, ask them to be a. Maybe we can invite them over kiss them, ask them to be our boyfriend or girlfriend, and then break up with them, then send them home, and then recycle that method. Because it'd be nice to get some satisfaction points so we can buy some reward store stuff. Um, because Alyssa doesn't have as many traits as Makina did. Makina had so many traits, so we need to work on that with her. Anyway, she can probably get up now. She's kind of in a foul mood, so come use the toilet and take a shower and grab some food. And then I think we'll get working on that um, Christmas girl. All right, Yale's doing his homework. Zach, are you ready to get up yet? Yeah, get up. Okay, he can come sit down here and do his homework. Um, And with the babies, I think I want to get Yale to do some tummy time with one of them to get their skills going. But I want him to do his extra credit first. Okay, Yale's done his extra credit. Oh my god, he just annihilated Zach. He just did his extra credit and his homework all in the time that... I think he did it. Do they need food? Yes. Right. You come and feed Aria. Bottle feed. And then we will do some tummy time with her. 
How's this one? Okay, this one needs food too. So we'll feed Arya, put her down, then we'll feed Alina and put her down. Big brother feeding. Oh my gosh. <gasps> she didn't want the bottle. Does she want the boob? Okay, well, starve then. Oh my problem. We'll feed Alina. Let's see if this baby will take the bottle. Okay, well, we're going to have to get Alyssa to feed her then, but that's fine. How can she be a picky eater when she doesn't have the option between food? She can only have milk or milk. Okay, she just shared herself. Lovely. Now she needs a <laughs> nappy change. All right, we're going to try to feed Aria again. <laughs> see if she takes the bottle this time, and if she doesn't, sounds like her problem, and then we'll give her a, a nappy change. Alyssa, I need your help. We're gonna have to pause the Christmas girl. Come do some tummy time with this baby. Alyssa's in her second trimester. That's great. We should be having this baby this episode, which is nice. Gosh, they're actually infuriating. Why do they not listen? And then we'll get Yale to do some tummy time with Alina as well. I mean, Aria. Oh my god. I can't keep up. There's too many of them. Alyssa, I swear to god, I will delete you. Thank you. Look, Yale did it first go. All right, let's see who's gonna get the milestone first. Okay, yeah, we finished first, which is interesting. All right, no one got a milestone. Go again. You can also go again. I find that the first milestone in tummy time is the hardest one to get, and then, and then once you've got those, they're fine. When they roll over, it's all good. Okay, did you get it that time? Nope. Okay, right, we'll go again. Okay, right, we're gonna keep going until they get this milestone. We we might be here all night, but that's honestly okay. Okay, Aria learned to reach by doing tummy time which is so strange so okay she got a milestone of it's fine put aria to bed you didn't get anything put oh elena got coup okay that's not what we were doing though babe that's really nice but it's not what we were doing okay anyway put them to bed i've i'm over it <laughs> they won't get the milestones literally they've been at it since like three o'clock this afternoon okay zach what's wrong with you you have a loose tooth why don't you try to pull it out Oh, he got it. Okay, nice. He also needs to wash his hands. Okay, you can go do that. Go wash your hands. Alyssa did not put the baby away. Alyssa is actually useless. I think Yale should be our matriarch because he's the one that actually deals with babies. Look, he literally listens to me and Alyssa just doesn't. Okay, it's the morning. The boys have school today, so I'm going to get them ready. Zach is awake. Yale's still asleep. Whatever, he's fine. Um, This baby is awake and hungry. Alyssa, why don't you get up and come and feed Aria? Give her the boob since she's picky with bottles, apparently. Oh, has our tree. <gasps> We've got crystals on our tree. Okay, we're gonna go harvest those this morning as well. We'll put these inside. All right, we're just doing tummy time again with baby, but she didn't get anything, of course. Nice, Alyssa. That's really great. Um, We need to feed Alina. All right, she's putting her down. Go use the toilet and then I'm gonna harvest these first. Okay, Alina got the reach milestone. That's great. Now you can play with toys. Try to get the grab one. We got a laugh milestone as well. Easy. Okay, she got the crystals. What did we get? We got a rose, which they get over breakups faster and social need doesn't decay. Um, Citrine, which is randomly finding simoleons. Career and school chance cards likely to succeed. Boring. Mental skills take longer to burn out. Okay, those are okay. We also, speaking of the simoleons one, did get bills um, before. We have $570 to pay in bills. We got some interest on our savings. And we also have $8,000 worth of property taxes, which we need to pay. Oh my god, that's going to actually drain our bank account. Okay, well, we'll just hold fire on that. We, do just, we need to start getting Alyssa to sell her crystals on the... Um, table. We're gonna do some tummy time. We need to get these babies crawling because that's kind of what I'm aiming for. Just like getting them to crawl. Sometimes stand depending on like how long it takes us. Reaching a milestone? Is she doing it? <gasps> she did it finally. Oh my god, finally. Okay, right. That one's asleep, so we'll just deal with this one. Okay, tummy time again. See if we can get her to roll. Okay, she learned to roll to her back. That's great. She can go take a nap. Um, because I think she's getting angry and tired. Yeah, she is. So let's come do some tummy time with Aria. Is that going to be? Yeah, we're going to be. And they both have projects. Lovely. Okay. You are tense. Okay, come over here. Use the toilet. Take a brisk shower or something. Make yourself feel better. Alyssa, keep doing the tummy time. Zach, you feel fine. So you can come in here and do your homework. 
and then we'll put your project in the lounge so you can do that okay did someone just die oh my god people got adopted okay shelby was adopted kane millie okay that's our sister it's one of mckenna's kids i think she was bob pancakes i don't remember this one uh, i don't know i don't know whose kid she was either way she's died and her kids look like she had an alien kid by the way was that were those her kids that got adopted out oh shelby was her kid so she had an alien kid oh my gosh that's kind of sad her kid <laughs> she died when her kid was only a child okay keep doing some tummy time with aria are you feeling any better you need to come sit by the crystal oh my gosh we're in our third trimester we got the lift head milestone zach did his homework so many things just happened all right Alyssa, that's really annoying me can you go repair that thanks um, and then we'll get her to help Zach with his project. That way it goes by faster. Um, and then Yale can help as well when he's done. And then we'll swap and do his project as well. Okay, Alyssa hates handiness. That's great. That's really great. All right, Yale, help with project. Okay, Yale, I mean Zach, needs a skill to level four. Um, so once he's done his uh, project, he can um, go to the toilet and eat some food. And then he can come play on the monkey bars to hopefully max that skill to level four. Yay, he did it, good job. Let's get Yale's project out. Start working on that and we'll get mum to help you. Does Yale have a skill? He does, okay. Yale's all good for school, he's all right. Um, it's just Zach we need to focus on. Okay, Zach is level four, easy. He didn't eat food, but that's his problem. You can come help your brother with his project since he helped you. We've got a Babel milestone. Okay, Yale's done, that's great. Right, Alyssa, come to the toilet. And then you can feed Aria. She also needs a, a nappy change. So breastfeed and then change Aria's nappy. Can you come feed Alina, please? Oh my god, she doesn't want the bottle now either. Babe, you're going to starve if you don't eat it. Oh my gosh, Alina got the rollover to tummy. She did that all by herself. That's so good. Okay, well, the boys have school again this morning. You're fully rested. Use the toilet, take a shower, eat some food. You can come upstairs, do the same thing. All right, we're going to grab Aria and we're going to put her down on the playmat and do some tummy time with her. Oh my gosh, she rolled over. She did it. I missed it. Sorry. Sorry, babe. Okay, right. She needs to roll to her tummy and we need to teach Alina to crawl. Okay, Aria put her toe in her mouth. It's great. Oh, she sat up. Oh my God, she's actually advanced. She's so advanced. All right, the boys are off to school. Off you go, kids. Oh, are you going to roll over? I think she is. I'm going to help Alina try her first baby food. <gasps> she did it! Yay! All right. So she needs to sit up. And then we'll put her in the high chair. But I also want to do... I just want to finish off with Alina. So we'll get her in the high chair and give her her food. And then we'll teach her to crawl. And then we can work on Aria. That can be our goal for the day. Okay, I think we're trying pumpkin something. Let's see if she likes it. She did. Great. Okay. We're going to pick up Alina and then try practice crawling with her, I think. All right, you've got it, queen. All you got to do is crawl, then you can age up. She did it. Yay. Okay, right. Now we need to deal with this baby. Aria, get up. Right, come. Pick her up. There it is, the crawl milestone. Okay, so Alina's all good because that's all I like to do. I just like to get them in the high chair, teach them to crawl, and then that's kind of what I want to just do with them because it gives us a bit of time to play with them as well. Um, They've only been babies for two days anyway, so it's... um. Honestly, it doesn't take that long. But we just need to catch Aria up. So let's practice sitting with her. Oh my gosh, she just said her first word. What the heck? Okay, right. We'll let Alyssa eat some food. She's freaking exhausted too. Do we have a sleep replacement? We do. Okay, we can drink that as well. She learned to creep. Oh my gosh, she's practicing crawling all on her own. <gasps> she did it. Oh my gosh, cute. All right, now she can try almost... Yeah, now she can try her first food. Help Aria try first food. Let's give her ice cream. That sounds delicious for your first food. <gasps> Zach's an A. Yale is an A. Okay, they can age up. All right, we're going to get that going while we try food with that baby. Okay, Yale, you're going to have to make a cake because we don't have one. Okay, is she going to like the ice cream? Of course she does. Who doesn't like ice cream? First food milestone. Lovely. All right, now we're going to pick her up and do some crawling practice. <gasps> Pincer grass. I never get that milestone. Ever. All right, once she's finished peeing, it's going to be 
crawling time and then it's going to be age up baby time oh my god Alyssa, so what do you do drop a duke in there and not flush it oh, cake's done i'm glad you didn't burn the house down that's really nice of you oh my god why are the cakes so bugged in this game all right zach you're up first because you've got school tomorrow okay this baby's learning to crawl oh, Alyssa's in labor oh my gosh i'm sorry baby you're gonna have to wait did she learn to crawl by the way Happy birthday, Zach. She learned to crawl. We're in labor. Oh my god, so many things are happening right now. Okay, Zach aged up. He is an animal lover. And I'm going to roll his aspiration. He got the knitting aspiration. That's great. Okay, I think the baby learned to crawl as well. <gasps> Zach's a spellcaster. I forgot he was a spellcaster. And a crawl milestone. Okay, so we can age up the babies, which is amazing. Um, We've aged up Zach, which is the main thing. He can go to school tomorrow. Um, if you guys didn't know, if they age up too late, they can't go to school. So I like to age the children up first. Um, we'll age up Yale to a young adult when we get home. And we'll also age the babies up to toddlers when we get home as well. But Alyssa is in labor. So we need to go to the hospital right now and have this baby. I forgot to ring the obstetrician, I think. So call the obstetrician. It might be too late, but we'll try it. So we'll do the surgery machine as per usual. Great. And now let's go to the hospital and have this baby. I'm really hoping it's just one. Okay, we've made it. Hopefully it worked. We'll just wait and see if she goes to that machine um, by herself. I think it has worked because it says um, it's go time. Give me birth again. Yes, you are. And you will give birth until you die. That is how that works. <laughs> Yay, here we go. She's going to change into a gown. Okay, what letter are we on, by the way? We're on letter B. Okay. All right. It's go time. Let's see what we're going to have. Okay. So we've had a baby boy. So we need to find a B name for a baby boy. Okay. And I suggested the name Bob and I'm actually living for it. So we're going to name him Bob. Um, I don't think we, what did we have last time? I don't even remember what our last B babies were. Um, Bob wasn't that. So, so we're going to go with Bob and we had twins. It's a girl. Okay. <sighs> Let's find a baby girl B name then. Oh my god, please just B too. Okay, so we're going to go with B for our baby girl. So we'll have Bob and we'll have B. And I'm scared to click this button. I really don't want it to be three. Oh, thank the sim. Lords. Oh, we had a C-section again, of course. Okay, you're not going to the recovery. Yes, come home. She always tries to run away and go on a vacation. Like, I'm sorry, babe. No, you can't. You can't. You have one, two, three, four, five, six kids at home. You can't go to the recovery room. All right, go home. You'll be fine. You've done this how many times before? We need to go look after our babies and age up our kids. Okay, we're back. And apparently Liz is asleep. I mean, I don't think she's asleep. But, okay. Um, I'm just going to reset her, I think. Didn't help. Okay, whatever. Um, Let's age up... Let's set up the babies first. So Alyssa, can you come and help light candles? Uh, I don't know who was born first. So we're just going to go with Aria because I can hear her screaming her head off. And I don't want to deal with it. Okay. So I just want to triple check what milestones we got for them. So she learned to crawl, sit, creep, roll, and lift head. We also did their food and a bunch of these other ones. Which I think we've done a lot of milestones. So honestly, I'm happy with the amount that we've got. Um, they both they both sat in the high chair and got their food. They both learned to crawl around. So I think we're good to age them up. Let me know if you guys think that that's um, all good. Or if you want, want to do more milestones. But yeah, I think that that's fine. Anyway, we're going to age up the babies. They can become toddlers and then they're more independent. And we don't have to worry about them. I'm kind of scared what they're going to look like though. Because we saw their dad last episode. Alright, well, Arya aged up. So she is a charmer and she is fussy. No surprises there. Right, add some birthday candles. Uh, yeah, you've got the baby. That's fine. You can help blow out the candles for her then. Alina. All right, what does Aria look like? Oh my god. That is actually cursed. That is literally the most cursed thing I've ever seen. All right, well, okay. If that's... Yep, sure. All right, happy birthday. Hopefully you don't look as cursed as your sister. All right, well, let's see. Okay. Alina aged up. She got a heck of a lot, a lot less skills than Aria, which is interesting. She's also fussy and she's clingy. Great. What do you look like? Oh, she's kind of cute. 
I mean, her face is definitely cursed, but it's fine. All right, Yale, add some birthday candles. It is your birthday now. Okay, blow out your candles. And I think that's all for the birthdays. Okay, so he had the beach life aspiration, so we'll give him that one back. And his trait is music lover. All right, well, that's everyone aged up. Here they are, all looking like hot messes. But with that, I'm going to go ahead and leave today's episode here with one of our cursed children. I'll give them their makeovers off camera and I'll show you guys at the start of the next episode. I just really can't be bothered doing it right now and I've been recording for ages. So yeah, I'll do it later. But yeah, it's going to be interesting to see how these guys age up. Um, yeah, they're not going to be our prettiest kids, but I mean, they have pink eyes or purple eyes, so I'll take it. But in the next episode, we might move Yale out, we probably will, and then get pregnant again. I also want to keep working on Alyssa's aspiration. And we also really need to make some money because those bills are like eight grand and we only have 10. So that's going to be fun in the next episode. Let me know down below what kind of money makers you think we could do for Alyssa. Um, we obviously are doing the jewellery and we haven't made any sales yet. But I'm not sure if there's something else we could do on the side to make some money. So let me know down below. Also suggest some baby names as well for our future babies because we're pumping them out real quick now. And I love to use your guys' name suggestions. Um, you can also upload any baby dads you have to the gallery. I'll put the hashtag on screen. It's also down in the description below. Also, I have a Discord server you guys can join. I want to start posting a little bit more in there about my CC and just chat with you guys about all sorts of stuff sims. So yeah, I really hope you guys did enjoy today's episode and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.